Earth has captured a tiny object and pulled it into orbit. The asteroid, known as 2020 CD3, is only the second asteroid known to orbit Earth. And while it won't last, this asteroid acts as a temporary mini-moon whirling around our planet. The asteroid is expected to drop out of orbit around the Earth in April and return to a heliocentric orbit, which is an orbit around the Sun. The International Gemini Observatory captured this image of 2020 CD3 at the center, using the 8-meter Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii. The discovery was made by the researchers in the Catalina Sky Survey. The survey is supported by the Near-Earth Object Observations Program, which reports into NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. Specialists at Catalina help NASA discover and track near-Earth objects that could be potentially dangerous to the planet. In this case, they found a natural satellite that was pulled into Earth's orbit, likely two or three years ago. The asteroid is likely between 6.2 feet and 11.4 feet in diameter, the researchers said on Twitter. Over the next few weeks, more observations are likely to come in. This will better help us understand the origin of the object, as well as a more accurate timeline of when the object came into orbit. This will also help them determine if it is a rocky asteroid or an artificial object. So far, they only have about a week's worth of data. With further observations and a better understanding of the orbit, dynamicists will be able to trace 2020 CD3's processing through the Earth-Moon system and work backward to the pre-capture orbit. The first known asteroid to orbit Earth, asteroid 2006 RH120, was discovered using the Catalina Sky Survey in September 2006. It's known as a TCO, or Temporarily Captured Object, to astronomers. The story of 2006 RH120 is not without controversy however, as its orbit appears similar to some Apollo-era spent rockets boosters, and therefore some scientists believe it may be an artificial object, according to the survey's website. With increasing capabilities of surveys, it's likely that more temporarily captured objects will be discovered in the coming years, allowing for improved definition and characterization of this strange class of near-Earth objects. Small objects like 2020 CD3 are often pulled in close to the Earth. This happens when the Earth intersects close enough to asteroids in orbit to the Sun. If the object is close enough to the Earth, Earth's gravity will pull on the objects, changing the object's orbit. Often, this only slightly changes the orbit and sends it in another direction, or pulls it close by Earth, without creating an impact to our planet. Temporarily captured objects are rare, as it takes a very precise speed and direction to be pulled in by Earth's gravitational pull, and to not impact or fly out in a new direction. And in some cases, the objects are too small to be detected. It is thought that there exists a constantly changing population of temporarily captured objects that are entering and leaving the Earth-Moon system. Most of them are likely smaller than these two asteroids. Smaller TCOs are too small and difficult to detect. 2020 CD3 is only a couple meters wide and was detected at about three-fourths the distance to the Moon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel.